first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel and today in this lesson number five we are going to see an important concept on the topic syllogism which is called as a definite statement is not equals to possibility so friends already in lesson number one we have posted some and all conclusion so lesson number two is no conclusion lesson number three i think possibility conclusion then lesson number four is some not conclusion we have already posted four different videos in the topic syllogism and also some extra topics like reverse syllogism etc right so this is going to be lesson number five which is a definite statement is not equal to possibility so friends kindly before watching this video don't forget to watch lesson number three lesson number three concept is case number one possibility and some students uh, ask me that what is called as definite statement not equal to possibility because in many tests we are seeing this concept so they need the clarification regarding this so that is the reason why we made this video lesson number five so friends listen carefully so possibility totally has two cases right so case number one and case number two case number one which i have already taught in lesson number three so lesson number three is completely case number one why i am again teaching this because you need to understand the concept clearly right what only if you understand the concept clearly you can crack all the syllogism question or otherwise solving a syllogism question is not at all easy only if you know 100 percent concept so friends listen here statement says there is a cup and there is a ball right and conclusion what the conclusion is placing a ball inside the cup is a possibility so we need to say whether it is possible or not by seeing the statement so there is a cup and also there is a ball and we need to conclude that placing a ball inside a cup is a possibility or not by seeing this definitely i can say that i can place this ball inside the cup it is possible so i can say this conclusion is correct which we already saw in lesson number three so this is the normal concept of syllogism but let me move on to some other question that is based on lesson number three because you need to recall everything right so friends let me move on to conclusion number one so conclusion number one is all glass being wood is a possibility in lesson number three what i have told you if it is a possibility you need to draw two diagram one is a basic diagram and second is a possible diagram if it is true in any one diagram then the answer is true here their conclusion says all glass being wood is a possibility according to the basic diagram there is no connection between glass and wood so according to basic diagram it does not follows when we move on to the possible diagram i can definitely draw glass here because they have clearly told that there is no connection between chair and a glass. I can draw glass here or otherwise I can draw glass here and also I can draw glass in some paper, right? It is possible. But which is not possible is I can't able to draw glass at the table and there is no possible of connecting glass with pen. But there is a possible of connecting glass with wood and also all glass being wood is a possible. According to the possible diagram, the conclusion is true. So if it is true in any one diagram, so what is the possibility is true, which we already thought in lesson number three, right? And listen here friends, another concept. <coughs> uh, while teaching lesson number three at the last question i have told you one important concept that if both the parameters are inside a single venn diagram always possibility follows friends look at the conclusion carefully listen to the conclusion carefully which is most important right so the conclusion is some chair being wood is a possibility so now i am seeing wood is here and similarly chair is here so both the parameters are inside a single venn diagram according to simple logic i am saying possibility always follows similarly here there is no connection between cup and there is no connection between ball but in a possibility we are saying there is a possible of placing a ball inside the cup similarly here there is no connection between wood and chair but there is a possible of connecting wood with chair and i am simply saying that if wood and chair or both are inside a single venn diagram then possibility follows that okay? some wood being table is a possible some wood being pen is a possible some paper being glass is a possible all glass being paper is a possible all glass being wood is a possible so these are the things which I have already taught you in lesson number three itself but case number two possibility let me move on to case number two possibility where lot and lot of students are still there are making a mistake so let me move on to case number two now let me move on to case number two that is definite statement similarly they have given a statement right just understand the diagram what is the difference between the case number one diagram and case number two diagram in case number one there is no connection between cup and a ball and we have seen a possibility but in case number two listen carefully a ball is inside the cup they have given directly in the statement itself a ball is inside the cup 
Look at the conclusion carefully friends. Placing a ball inside the cup is a possibility. Whether it is true or not. Friends, it is exactly wrong. Why? Because in the statement itself, they have concluded the answer. Right? Got it friends. In the statement itself, they have concluded that a ball is inside the cup. Again in the conclusion they are saying placing a ball inside the cup is a possible or not. Already they have given a definite statement that the ball is inside a cup. Now they are asking a conclusion that placing a ball inside a cup is a possible or not which is exactly wrong. So we can say that this conclusion is wrong. Friends got it? So similar concept I am going to apply here right. So similarly we have drawn the Venn diagram for the given statement. So let me move on to conclusion number one. Listen here friends the statement is some wood are paper, some papers are pen and all pens are table and all tables are chair and no chair is a glass. So we have drawn the Venn diagram for the given statement and let me move on to the conclusion. So friends listen the conclusion carefully here the conclusion says all pen being chair is a possibility. Friends, all pen being chair is a possibility. Already here all pens are chair. Right? Similar to this case, already the ball is inside the cup. Similarly here, all pen or chair is already in the statement. And now they are saying that all pen being chair is a possibility. Whether it is possible or not, which is exactly wrong. The given conclusion is wrong. Why? Because it is a definite statement. right? Already all pens are chair. Again they are asking a possibility. So it is wrong. So let me move on to conclusion number two. So conclusion number two is some chairs being paper is a possible. So friends already there are some chairs are paper right in the statement itself after drawing a Venn diagram we can surely say that some chairs are paper. Now they are saying that some chair being paper is a possible which is exactly wrong. Why because in the statement itself it's a definite statement right in the statement itself they have told you some chairs are paper and now they are asking some chairs being paper is a possibility. So it is wrong. So this case we used to call it as a definite statement in the topic syllogism. So friends understood the concept number one that is case number one and case number two. And here most of the students ask me all pen being chair is a possibility where pen and chair both are in a single Venn diagram why possibility is wrong. Friends listen here here wood and chair in the previous case I have told you all wood being chair is a possible some chair being wood is a possible why because initially there is no connection between wood and chair. So we have said that possibility follows but in this case already after drawing a diagram itself all pen are chair now the conclusion says all pen being chair is a possibility already ball is inside the cup and the conclusion they are asking us placing a ball inside the cup is possibility it's a definite statement they have concluded in the statement itself again asking a possibility does not follow similarly in the statement itself after drawing a venn diagram we can say all pens are chair now they are saying all pens being chair is a possibility so it is wrong so friends understood the concept so case number one it's a normal possibility so case number two is a definite statement so friends i hope that you have understood this concept at case number one case number two so let me move on to one question with many different conclusion so that you can able to understand the concept clearly of definite statement now let me move on to the syllogism question right so assume that they have given a statement as some white or black and all blacks are brown and all brown are yellow then some yellow or green and no yellow or spring. Assume that we have drawn the Venn diagram for the given statement. So let me move on to all the different case of possibility conclusion. So friends, if it is a possibility, totally there are two cases. Lesson number three is case number one. And this lesson number five is a definite statement. Just now I have told you how to see a definite statement, right? Okay. Here is conclusion number one. So some pink being white is a possibility. So friends, some pink being white is a possibility. So it is a possibility. So we need to first of all see it is case number one or case number two. Friends, there is no connection between white and pink. So we can say it is case number one, which we already seen in lesson number three, right? So friends, some pink being white is a possible. In the statement, they have clearly told that there is no connection between pink and yellow. But we can connect the pink with green and we can connect the pink with white. If we connect pink with white then some pink being white is a possible. So we can say that this is possible according to case number 1. Friends got it? 
okay so second conclusion some green being white is a possible so friends listen here some green being white is a possible if it is a possibility we need to draw two diagram so friends listen here there is no connection between white and green according to case number one there is no connection between cup and ball right so similarly here there is no connection between white and green and they are asking a possibility so here white and green both are inside a single Venn diagram so possibility follows according to case number one third conclusion all pink being white is a possibility so friends just now i have told you we can draw pink here and also there is a possible of connecting pink here and why because they have clearly told that they should not be any link between yellow and pink but we can draw pink here if i draw pink here then all pink being white is a possible so we can say that it is possible according to case number one right so let me move on to the fourth conclusion so when fourth conclusion is all black being yellow is a possibility friends listen here all black being yellow is a possibility after drawing a venn diagram already all black or yellow right already the ball is inside the cup according to case number two again they are asking all balls being yellow is a possibility so we can say that it's a definite statement according to case number two it is it does not follow so we can say that conclusion does not follow which is false friends got it already in the statement itself it's a definite statement all black being yellow is a statement right and now they are saying a conclusion it is a possibility so we can say that it does not follow so conclusion number five some yellow being white is a possibility so friends some yellow being white listen here friends already we know that some yellow or white in the statement itself we know that some yellow or white now they are saying some yellow being white is a possibility it's a definite statement again they are talking about possibility so we can say that according to case number two it is wrong so last all black being white is a possibility so friends all black being white listen here friends most important concept here we know that according to the statement some black or white right but the conclusion says all black being white is a possibility so black and white are inside a single venn diagram and in the statement they are saying only some black or white or some white or black but the conclusion talking about all black or white so we can say that black and white both are in a single venn diagram so possibility follows friends got it according to case number one this is case number one and uh, the first three conclusions are case number one so friends listen carefully understand the concept is important right so try to practice more number of question which uh, appears like this because these students are making a mistake again and again in the topic possibility so friends a simple logic after drawing a venn diagram you see a statement in the diagram itself then if they ask again a possibility which is wrong listen here, friends all black being yellow is a possibility wrong why because already in the diagram itself all black or yellow so it is wrong friends got it so thank you so much for watching this video and I, after taking this video i have already shared this video to many senior faculties and some faculty in delhi and also some faculty in hyderabad so i have shared this video to all the senior faculties and i have asked them whether this concept is correct or not and they told that it's exactly 100 percentage the concept is correct still if you are having a doubt kindly take a screenshot of it and ask your if you are going to any institution or if you are studying in any institution kindly ask them whether this concept is correct or not why because we have already consulted with many faculties but still some students will have a doubt whether it is correct or wrong so in that case kindly take a screenshot of it and share the question to your friends or otherwise your faculty and ask them whether the concept is correct so friends thank you so much for watching this video and lesson number six again some students are having a doubt regarding either or pair syllogism there is a complementary pair concept which is called either or right some a or b no a is b and uh, the two concept is most important right so lesson number six we can see that either or concept